Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing up the Mad Cheese as always. Got some passing plays for you today. An explosive passing formation that I can't say I've seen anybody else uh, really touch on. And that's the Gun Trips TE. Now, this, I'm in the Vikings playbook. I'm specifically in the Vikings playbook because somebody from my Patreon, a longtime member uh, from my Patreon, asked me to do some plays out of the Vikings. Uh, and if you guys want to join my Patreon, if you want to support this channel, I'd go a little bit further to help out the people on there because obviously uh, they support this channel year round. Uh, but ultimately, uh, he asked me for some plays out of the Vikings and the Redskins. Uh, I talked him out of the Redskins because I think that playbook's going to change quite a bit. So I'm going to focus on the Vikings. The Vikings should be the same this year and next year. And I'm going to show you some really explosive, explosive plays. Now, the verticals. Uh, if you follow this channel at all, I love vertical concepts. I mean, if you want explosive passing plays, vertical concepts typically get that done. And I'm going to start off by showing this particular play first. Now, this entire series of plays is going to, if you know, even though I have a through wide receiver set to the left side, which a lot of people like, I'm pretty much going to motion one of these receivers across just about every time. So that's going to be, I mean, that's going to have a couple of different positive effects. Number one, it's going to, they're, they're all going to look similar. Even though the receiver that I motion will change from time to time, it's always going to have uh, an effect of, of some nature where, where the opponent, your opponent isn't necessarily going to know what your pl play you're running based off of the motion. Now, I'm in a cover two defense right now, or my opponent's in a cover two defense, a nickel cover two. Uh, so the first thing that I'm going to do, I mean, if, I, if I read a cover two, motioning across this Y route is going to be a really good cover two play. I'm typically going to put the uh, tight end here on a streak. None of the other routes really matter. Those are the only two that really matter. So I can really create any type of check down I want. If I want to put a drag... Uh, on the B route, that's probably the best because it'll be a good check down and it'll also pull the cornerback down that I'm trying to isolate here. So I typically want to motion i typically want to snap it when this guy's right about here you can see how glitchy this formation is that time the cornerback didn't even follow like they were having real issues communicating who was supposed to go across i'll go ahead and i'll go to the replay real quick that's something about this formation there's a lot of really glitchy stuff in this formation you can see right here i motioned i was motioning them back and forth really just because i was just buying time as i was talking and you can see by the last time that i did this there's nobody out here which basically puts the safety in position where he knows the streak's coming from uh, this guy so even if he even if he bit all the way outside i could probably just wait and throw it to the tight end but you can see you're going to see that a lot where a lot of times i'll run plays and there's nobody covering this receiver i'm going to do that more than once in this video so like i said i mean in a cover two scenario one of the better ways to run this if you have an opponent running cover two will be to uh, to have this uh, Y route here. And you can see, because I'm in a, a nickel, this, this, this cornerback is already over here. If I motion him across again, I pretty much bait him and pull him across, and that's why that happened. Now you can see there's nobody really over there. But ultimately what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to motion snap this guy anyway because I don't want him to get all the way out because I want this, uh, you can see right here, there's really nobody underneath. I mean, this is just a really glitchy formation. I should have my fastest guy doing what Thielen's doing, but I don't. But it really don't matter. I mean, this play, you know, you don't, it don't really matter. So ultimately, like I said, I mean, this play here, if you just run it as is, it's going to get past cover twos without issue, even with that pass rush in the face. I mean, you can see there's gaps, there's lanes. It's always going to be there in a cover two. So let's do this one more time. Like I said, block the running back. I haven't really done that yet. Put the, uh, put the B route on a drag. I accidentally put him on a streak, but either way, put him on a drag, streak that tight end, and then, like I said, motion snap him before he gets set, just so you can get a little more room to that sideline. You see right here, there's just nothing there. And if I got enough speed, if I'd have had, you know, digs over there, we'd better touchdown. So let's go and let's move on. Now, this can also be a one-play touchdown against cover three, but you want to be uh, running this to the open side of the field. Now, on a play like this, um, you know, the best way to run this is if I motion across a different receiver. This time I'm motion across the X route. And you're going to see the safety in the middle of the field here, he's going to shift dramatically because of that uh, particular shift. So most people aren't going to have time to make the adjustment to uh, fix that. And all I'm really going to do is streak the A route, streak the B route, put the Y route on an out route, and then smart route them. And that's all I really have to do right here. I'm just looking for this B route to clear uh, and then, you know, just pass lead them outside a little bit. As you can see, uh, we're going to split that safety. We're going to get right up that seam for another uh, one play TD. You don't have to be this much to the open side of the field, but it's definitely going to help. Uh, but ultimately, you know, like I said, it's a real simple setup. Just motion this guy across, 
you can watch the safety in the center of the field there. I mean, he's just he's just getting way far over. And that's because the furthest receiver on the field uh, to the sideline is the X route now. As you can see, my slot receiver, um, he's just really far inbound. So they're just going to give that some play. So, you know, like I said, I mean, when I'm just trying to shoot this gap, it's a huge gap. Making that motion will really be what makes that motion or makes that gap happen. As you can see here, once again, I mean, it's just a really easy play. And I do have my fastest receiver on this route. So that's definitely going to help. Another really good play out of this formation and probably my second favorite play in the series is the PA shot post. Going against cover two now, this is another play where you can make a uh, similar uh, type of motion. I find sometimes it's best to stop him before he gets across the field because I really want him to pull those linebackers and I'm really just shooting right up the gap here, uh, and especially when I'm seeing cover two. That's definitely one way that you can run it. I find that's the best way to attack cover two in this particular play, but if you ultimately want to go to the outside again, just motioning in the X route and then snapping him before he gets in a lot of times uh, will really pull that safety in, as you can see right there. It pulls that uh, cover two safety in a lot and it really gets the, uh, the wheel route open. So me personally, I mean, you know, you can go either way. You know, what I mean, if if you if you wanna if you don't wanna attack uh, the user, there's a much less chance that the user is gonna be out here where the B route is. Um, so typically, like I said, I like to attack out there where the user is typically not, because if you have a user uh, that's patrolling well and patrols to play deep, they could get in front of that deep route. So ultimately, that's uh, th those are pretty much two choices when it comes to cover two. Now you can have this same effect in cover three, which is what I'm in now. Uh, all you have to do is put the Y route on a streak the same way and uh, motion in this guy right here. Just motion snap him the same way. He became a blocker, but that's okay. Because I'm just waiting for this uh, B route to get past uh, the curl flat. And then you can see you have a lot of space too. So that, that method can work on either cover two or cover three. It's just a little bit of a different read. So like I said, put the Y route on a streak one more time. And then uh, motion snap this guy in. I mean, that part's not as important. Uh, but ultimately, you just need that receiver out of the way. And then just wait for this guy to get past the curl flat. So real easy play, real easy read. It's going to be even better though if you have a... Uh, a play like a, somebody's running an all-out blitz, a zero blitz, or a, a cover one man, um, because that wheel route's going to really destroy that. So just make sure you got your blocking on point. Obviously, the, the tight end and the running back aren't in much of use. And then, like I said, I'm motion snapping anyway. So if I just let him get a little bit further, he'll turn into a blocker a lot of the time, and that's uh, going to help me out there. He just kind of got in the way. And then you just wait for this guy to turn up field. So any man cover one or, I mean, cover two is not really going to work the same way. Cover two man. Against cover two man, which is what I have now, you just have to put uh, Thielen on a streak one more time. He's going to create the space between the man coverage and the safety. So that's really all you really need. You just see somebody pulling that back, and then you'll have the same success. So I'm basically highlighting the, real, the wheel route as much as possible in a play like this. The last play, the double in sail, uh, is a play that really can be used against a lot of defenses. So I'm just going to go random nickel this time. So on a play like this, I mean, this is probably one of the few plays that's not really meant to be a bunch of home run touchdowns. Uh, but that's, you know, this can be a very consistent play. I like to put uh, Thielen here on a streak. Uh, he'll help get uh, the B route open against a lot of, you know, cover threes and stuff like that. And then I like to slant uh, the X route and then have him on a, uh, have him on a uh, motion snap one more time. Uh, as I almost scored another touchdown. Like I said, I mean, this can be an explosive play, but it's not meant to be a one play touchdown. Uh, but you can see what the possibilities that it has. Uh, now, in a, a play like this, I mean, in, a, in an obvious cover three, if you streak the B route, put the, uh, we can do the same the same uh, motion snap that we, or the same motion we did in a previous cover three play. All you want to do is motion this guy across, uh, put him on that slant one more time, and then, you know, basically, you know, you can set this up the exact same way that we've had uh, the other cover three plays set up. Out route, feeling, put him on a smart route, streak the B route, and that's pretty much going to be uh, all you need here. As I throw it a little bit early, but I still might be able to be gone. Uh, but you can see, I mean, this, you know, it's just that motion that creates that look that you can home run, cover threes, and just about anything from this play. So, like I said, if you see that obvious cover three look, you can make the adjustment. But, like I said, I really want to use this uh, play uh, with uh, a little bit of something different where I'm really just trying to highlight the, uh, the corner routes. So we're going to do this one more time. Like I said, the running backs are really good check down. I can tell he's going to have space here. As you can see, I mean, that's going to be something that you have to keep an eye on. And you could probably steal the entire game. Now, on a play like this, I'm not necessarily going based off of coverage. Like I said, the streak is really for a cover three. Uh, what Rudolph and Cookside's doing is really more cover two based. So that would be my cover two reads. And then uh, if it's a man coverage, I would go digs. I mean, you can really make your reads... Which, which receiver you're going to throw to uh, based off of spacing. Like if I see those cornerbacks are playing off too deep, I'm looking at Cook as the play starts. I mean, there's a lot of different reads that you can make uh, pre-snap as far as who I'm going to throw to here. Uh, and then, like I said, I mean, you, you don't really need to read the field too much. There's no real read progression. 
you should be able to see like you know hey right as i come to the to, to the ball you know like i said if i see a cover through i know i can create something but pretty much everything else is just uh you know i'm making that read ahead of time so here it looks like it's you know probably a cover four or cover four quarters i mean i'm looking digs way the whole way uh just waiting for him to get outside of that he didn't really run the best route but it still worked out you see it wasn't quite the decisive cuts that i want but you can see how, how effective it's going to be so that's it if you guys want to see uh more from this formation or this playbook let me know in the comment section of the like button or if you want to see a different book let me know in the comment section as well and i'll try to do that next other than that thanks for watching man wish it out Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.